Hey guys, what's up? It's Xuperst here, and today I'll be reacting to episode 3 of Avatar The Last Airbender. So let's get on with it. Water. Earth. Fire. Air. All right. Episode 3, I believe. Let's see what the title of this episode is. The Southern Air Temple. Okay, so they're going to visit Aang's home from which he fled when he was much younger back a hundred years ago because the fire nation was attacking it the air temple is one of the most beautiful places in the world and i know you're excited but it's been a hundred years since you've been home that's why i'm so excited it's just that a lot can change in all that time i know but i need to see it for myself yeah she's basically not telling the white elephant in the room which is they're dead right they're all dead. Sleep now. Temple later. Uh, I, I, I don't remember exactly how Aang res will react when he finds out that they're all dead. Great, you're awake. Let's go. Right, I forgot how much of a prankster Aang was when he was much younger. repairs made as quickly as possible. That's quite a bit of damage. Yes. You wouldn't believe what happened. Uncle, tell the manager what happened. Yes. It was incredible. What? Did we crash or something? Yes. Right into an Earth Kingdom ship. You must regale me with all the thrilling details. Join me for a drink? Sorry, but we have to go. Prince Duco, show Commander Zhao your respect. We would be honored to join you. Do you have any ginseng tea? It's my favorite. <sighs> okay. I, I love Iroh, man. That guy is so chill. Hey, stomach, be quiet, all right? I'm trying to find us some food. Hey, who ate all my blubbered seal jerky? Oh, that was food? <laughs> I used it to start the campfire last night. <laughs> Ew, what? <laughs> okay. The flame smelled so good. All right. The moon. We're almost there. Fire Nation is ruthless. They killed my mother. They could have done the same to your people. Just because no one has seen an airbender doesn't mean the Fire Nation killed them all. Oh, he's in denial. I know it's hard to accept. You don't understand, Katara. The only way to get to an airbender temple is on a flying bison, and I doubt the Fire Nation has any flying bison. Right, Apple? Mm, but I think they have other flying vehicles. They could have used something else as well. It's been a hundred years. So much could have been developed by the Fire Nation. So... There it is. The Southern Air uh, And it's going to be in for a big surprise. We're home, buddy. We're home. So, how is your search for the Avatar going? My fault entirely. We haven't found him yet. Did you really expect to? The Avatar died a hundred years ago, along with the rest of the airbenders. See? There. Unless you found some evidence that the Avatar is alive. No. Nothing. It's like you said. The Avatar probably died a long time ago. Come on, Uncle. We're going. Commander Zhao. We interrogated the crew as you instructed. They confirmed Prince Zuko had the Avatar in custody, but let him escape. Rats. <laughs> Remind me, how exactly was your ship damaged? I can't believe how much things have changed. You should really come to, come to terms so, with the fact the that they're all dead. And these other two are doing a pretty good job of probably distracting him. We should tell him. Aang, there's something you need to see. Okay. No, don't. What is it? Uh, just don't coddle him. Nice one, but enough practicing. We have a whole temple to see. 
you know, you can't protect him forever. Yeah. Katara, firebenders were here. You can't pretend they weren't. I can for Aang's sake. It's if not gonna help him. The Fire Nation invaded his home. And killed everybody. Hey, except him. I want you to meet somebody. Who's that? Monkey Atsa, the greatest airbender in the world. He taught me everything I know. But the true secret is in the gooey center. <laughs> My agent cake making technique isn't the only thing on your mind, is it, Ang? This whole Avatar thing. Maybe the monks made a mistake. The only mistake they made was telling you before you turned 16. But we can't concern ourselves with what was. We must act on what is. Now, are you going to help me with these cakes or not? All right. <laughs> uh. Your aim has improved greatly. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> what in the world is he teaching him? Yeah. Where are you going? The Air Temple Sanctuary. There's someone I'm ready to meet. All right. And it's empty. Pretty sure it's going to just be empty and uh if I remember correctly, although I'm not sure, I think this is where he tries to get into the avatar state. This is the room where he sort of discovers how supposedly discovers how to control the avatar state right commander Zhao, i've been hunting the avatar for two years and i have failed capturing the avatar is too important to leave in a teenager's hands he's mine now keep him here more tea please <laughs> Okay, those two guys, Gyatso and Iro, are some of the chillest people I've... Oh, here's the Avatar line. See? Right? Like terracotta statues of all the Avatars. That's it? Where's the meat? Who are all these people? I'm not sure. But it feels like I know them somehow. Look, that one's an airbender. And this one's a waterbender. They're lined up in a pattern. Air? Water, earth, and fire. That's the avatar cycle. Of course. They're avatars. All these people are your past lives, eh? Wow. There are so many. Okay. Before we continue, I just want to... I just want to say, I don't exactly remember why the Air Temple has this. Uh, this collection of statues of past avatars why do they have something like this in the in their sanctuary do other nations have it the, do does the earth nation have it the fire nation uh obviously i think the the water tribes mm, don't have something like this but this is so interesting so many questions we'll probably figure them out later but yeah that was just something that i that came to mind anyway let's go on let's move on Katara, you really believe in that stuff? It's true. When the Avatar dies, he's reincarnated into the next nation in the cycle. There's Avatar Roku, the one who came before him. And snap out of it! Huh? Who is that? That's Avatar Roku, the Avatar before me. You were a firebender? No wonder I didn't trust you when we first met. <laughs> There's no writing. How do you know his name? I'm not sure. I just know it somehow. It's Momo. <laughs> Firebender, nobody make a sound. You're making a sound? <laughs> Lemur! 
dinner. Not if I get him first. Okay, we're gonna have some shenanigans. My search party is ready. Once I'm out to sea, my guards will escort you back to your ship, and you'll be free to go. Why? Are you worried I'm going to try and stop you? <laughs> you stop me. Impossible. Don't underestimate me, Zhao. I will capture the Avatar before you. Prince Zuko, that's enough. You can't compete with me. I have hundreds of warships under my command. And you, you're just a banished prince. No home, no allies. Your own okay, wait. father doesn't even want you. Why was he banished again? I don't remember. the avatar to my father, he will welcome me home with honor and restore my rightful place on the throne. If your father really wanted you home, he would have let you return by now. Avatar or no avatar. But in his eyes, you are a failure and a disgrace to the Fire Nation. That's not true. You have the scar to prove it. Oh, maybe you'd like one to match. Is that a challenge? An Agni Kai at sunset. Okay. Very well. It's a shame your father won't be here to watch me humiliate you. I guess your uncle will do. Okay. I thought we were going to have a flashback there of that encounter. Will he discover that that oh there we go. Firebenders? They were here? Finally. Kiyotso. Hey Aang, you find my dinner yet? Mm. Aang, I wasn't really gonna eat the lean, okay? <laughs> oh man. Come on, Aang. Everything will be alright. Let's get out of here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's gonna happen? Oh, okay, so every nation does have some kind of... Okay, so every nation does have some kind of museum or temple or place where all the avatars uh, converge. Remember your firebending basics, Prince Zuko. They are your greatest weapons. I refuse to let him win. This will be over quickly. Okay. Oh, all right. This is how the great commander Zhao acts in defeat. Disgraceful. Even in exile, my nephew is more honorable than you. Thanks again for the tea. It was delicious. Aang, I know you're upset. And I know how hard it is to lose the people you love. I went through the same thing when I lost my mom.
Tara and I aren't going to let anything happen to you. Promise. I'm sorry. It's okay. It wasn't your fault. But you were right. And if firebenders found this temple, that means they found the other ones, too. I really am the last airbender. Everything's packed. You ready to go? How is Roku supposed to help me if I can't talk to him? Maybe you'll find a way. <laughs> Looks like you made a new friend, Sokka. Can't talk. Must eat. Hey, little guy. You, me, and Appa. We're all that's left of this place. We have to stick together. Katara, Sokka, say hello to the newest member of our family. What are you gonna name him? Momo. Okay, that was a nice episode. I don't have much to say. I would like to comment though that the moment that Aang discovers that the all of the airbenders died, that should be a much more dramatic and emotional moment, but for some reason it just went by so quickly in that we, we don't get to see much of the, the emotion from his face. You know, if I were to compare it with some for, with Japanese animation, right? They're going to focus on the face they're going to focus on the tears that are falling. They'll move the camera down to show the tears and then they'll move it up slowly back to his face. They're going to see the they're going to show the wrinkles in his eyes. And then, you know, that's when things will start becoming more dramatic. He's going to light up and enter the avatar state. So it just feels like it's so rushed that moment. And I feel like a lot of the other important moments are, are rushed here as well. And I, I get it, that's just how Western animation differs from Japanese animation. It was a nice episode. I got to see, or I got to be reminded that each nation actually has their own repository of avatar statues, probably, or some kind of record of who the past avatars were. So everybody is keeping record of who's going to be the next which nation is going to harbor the next avatar, uh, who were the past avatars. They have that connection, each of the nations. So when, Av when Aang activated the avatar state and everything glowed, all the other nations found out that the avatar is still alive. So yeah, that was that was cool. Okay, the, the, the fight between Zhao and Zuko, I feel like that was a bit forced because obviously Zhao, Zhao had the upper hand and for some reason he let his guard down and Zuko was able to capitalize on it and win the match. He was able to pull the rug from under him. So that one I feel like was a bit, it was set up. But anyway, I really like Iroh. I like Gyatso, those two characters because they seem like the, the most chill out of all of the characters. Aang is still a bit childish, even though he's technically 112 years old. He's basically 12 years old, and he still has the personality, the the, the attitude, the mindset, and the behavior of a 12-year-old. So he definitely has a lot of growing up to do over the course of these three seasons. But with the help of Katara and Sokka and other people that they'll meet along the way. But yeah, he does have a lot of growing up that he needs to do and he's going to have to do it in a very short span of time, which is such a big ask for any 12 year old kid. He's probably not even entered puberty yet. And I think that was the reason why he ran away from the responsibility of being the avatar because that's such a big burden and responsibility that's just hoisted upon you, right? Gyatso saying that one of the mistakes that the monks did was to tell Aang that he's the avatar before he turned 16. I think that's a very reasonable and logical thing because 
he probably doesn't have enough mental fortitude and maturity at that age to handle all of that information. It's going to be like an information overload and He's only starting to understand everything that's happening in the world. And to be suddenly given that kind of responsibility and burdened with it, it's just too much. So I get why he reacted the way that he reacted, right? Yeah, so he, he ran away and encased himself in an iceberg. So it makes sense why that happened. But at the same time, uh, things are a lot more difficult now because he ran away. And that's a hundred years, so many things happened within that span of time. All the air nomads have disappeared because the fire nation exterminated all of them. And the water tribes might have faced the same fate if it weren't well, later on, we'll go to the Northern Water Tribe and we'll see that they have enough fighters there to defend themselves. So unlike the Southern Water Tribe, which I, I don't think they have any waterbenders at all. I'm not sure if they're the last water tribe in, in the South. But as far as I know, a lot of the waterbenders are in the Northern Water Tribe. And of course, the only other nation that can stand up against the Fire Nation is the Earth Kingdom. And we know, I, I know later on what's going to happen there a bit, but I, I don't want to preempt it. But anyway, yeah, nice episode. Again, there were some really nice comedic moments as usual. Uh, pacing and just the way that the some moments are are being animated or being focused on is just a bit awkward, I think. They're not able to draw much emotion from the scene, which would have given me more time to actually feel all of the emotion, all of the, the things that are going on, and to be able to empathize with Aang, you know, with Aang's grief and sorrow upon discovering that all of the airbenders have died. But still, it was a really great episode. I really liked it. And thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope to see you in the next one.